What's happening guys and welcome back to the channel and yesterday it was officially confirmed that Tammy Abraham joined AS Roma for £34 million on a five-year contract earning between four to five million euros net per season. Chelsea have got a buyback option inserted into the deal of €80 million, Euros, which becomes active in June 2023. Now, George, this uh, transfer has kind of, I feel, divided the Chelsea fan base. There's a lot of um, people kind of in my camp that aren't so fussed about seeing him leave. But then again, there's a lot of, a lot that feel the club have made a mistake. Where do you sit on this one? Oh, you know where I sit on this one, mate. It's, uh, I was a big fan of Tammy, I have to say. People that have listened to our podcast know full well that I was backing him all of last season and the season before. I think what he did in Frank Lampard's first season was remarkable considering you get a lot of youngsters who can't step up to the plate. And we know as Chelsea fans, playing that number nine at Stamford Bridge is a big ask. There's a lot of pressure. And he rose to the occasion. And it, I think it is a shame because not only have we left ourselves a bit light up top, but he's a player that, again, we might regret giving away too soon. Um, for me, I mean, he scored goals. He's he's proven at the highest level. He's done that. He scored in big games. So people who say he doesn't score in the big games, nonsense. I mean, we saw what he did against, you know, Arsenal and the like. That was my favourite Tammy moment, that goal against Arsenal. You saw Frank Lampard, you know, cheering on the touchline at the Emirates. But, you know, for me, it's a difficult position for Tammy. Only he will know. But it was obvious that as Tuchel came in, he wasn't fancied. And, you know, for that reason, I think he has to, he has to move on regretfully. But, yeah, for me, Tammy was a, a really good player and I think he could have pushed Lukaku. Certainly learned a lot from Lukaku as well because Lukaku's been in a similar position, you know, at a young age trying to fight his way in a first-team place. But, yeah, that, that's my stance on it. I mean, I wish Tammy all the best of luck at, at Roma, but, yeah, sadly it wasn't to be. But I know it divides opinions amongst all Chelsea fans. And in terms of obviously including the buyback clause in that deal, do you reckon Chelsea have put that in because of what's happened previously, you know, through player sales for, for the likes of Kevin De Bruyne and uh, Mohamed Salah? Obviously, Lukaku, not so much because he was very young when he came, didn't really get much of a chance. Um, I suppose it kind of works well for both parties because if Tammy goes to Roma, does really well, then we obviously got first refusal to bring him back. So just, do you reckon that's in there for that exact reason? Well, yeah, and I mean, just look at this. Look at this window with everyone after top class strikers. I mean, and if you've got one on your books that you could potentially buy back, I think it's a really smart bit of business from Chelsea. I mean, imagine if he goes on to do what De Bruyne or, or Salah did, you know, at their clubs. And sometimes these, you know, Lukaku will say first time, first hand, you know, he had to leave Stamford Bridge and he's become a better player for it in return. So he could be another one who comes through the doors in two, three years' time, and we were, you know, doing an. And training session singing his praises so who knows but um unlikely but i i do i do rate tammy abraham i think he's a he's a, a good he's a good number nine i mean maybe not first team choice but i think he had the potential and that's where that's where the, the divided opinions comes across i think some people think it's a bit of a waste of space and that he's not mature enough to lead the line but i disagree i mean i, I think i'd have to agree that he's not I wouldn't fancy him in a, in a big, big game up top as the main man, in like in a massive Champions League game. I'm just sorry. I just don't think he's good enough. I think him going to, to Roma in different league, different way of playing, coming up against different kind of defenders, I think that's going to really help him develop his game. And I'm really glad to see now that a lot of young English players are actually going abroad at, to apply their trade and, and, and learn a lot more. I think that's a big plus. You know, I think Jaden Sancho has kind of been a bit of a pioneer with that. And it's great to see other lads going through and doing that because ultimately it's going to serve them well and it's going to make them much better players. But in terms of what Chelsea have got left at the moment, George, um, I mean, I, I've seen fans' views and I think I might share this view that we're not obviously we're not lights in the top end of the pitch in terms of options. We've got plenty of options. But in terms of having out and out number nines, we've only got one because Timo Werner, for me, is not an out and out centre forward. Do you think we've left ourselves a little bit short in the striking department. Yeah, I mean, if you're looking at number nines, it, we are a bit short. We have really only got one. Now, bear in mind that one is is Lukaku is almost a £100 million signing. 
you know, exactly what I think a lot of Chelsea fans wanted, you know, that big physical presence, that that ability to score from all over the pitch and be that that final product that we needed because it wasn't the creating chances that we lacked last season. It was that that final product. But yeah, mate, we have. I mean, Olivier Giroud was another one that I was sad to see go, but I mean, he was a great servant to us and I think he wanted to, he was good enough to probably play uh, any other club, you would say, um, outside the top four as, as a starter. So fair play to him for going. I just thought, you know, with the Tammy thing, we probably just could have convinced him a bit more to stay. And, you know, someone like a Jose Mourinho is not going to sign someone like a Tammy Abraham lightly if he doesn't believe in his quality, because that's not that's not like Jose Mourinho. So, yeah, I think we are a bit light, but we've just got to hope that Lukaku lives up now, you know, that now the talking's done. It's now up to him to make sure he is that 20, 25 goals a season a man. And when we put all these debates to bed, that it's, it's, yeah, I think we've got a lot of players that are interchangeable. We haven't mentioned Kai Havertz, who could play a false nine as well. We could possibly do what Man City do, but yeah, mate, it is a slight concern of mine if it, if it doesn't, if he doesn't fire on all cylinders straight away. Yeah, I, I'd have to agree, mate. I think, look, everyone's really excited about his return, he's obviously gone away. He's a much, much better player than he was first time round. But as you say, mate, there's absolutely no guarantees that he will hit the ground running and score loads of loads of goals. It might take him a little bit of while to get up to speed. And you always worry when a big striker comes to Chelsea because you've had it in the past so often with the likes of Torres, Shevchenko, etc. Um, and they just fail to deliver. And we just have to hope it's going to be different this time. Obviously, he's a, he's a profile of striker that you know, we've had great success with in the past with the likes of Drogba and Costa. But ultimately, like, if Lukaku were to get injured or suspended or whatnot, we have to totally alter our style of play. And we haven't got anything else like that up top. And we could, we'd could be back to the struggles of last season with no one, with not really having a top draw finisher. So, I don't know, I think we could be a little bit short in that regard. But, George, just one final thing on Tammy Abraham. How, how, do, you, how do you reckon he'll do in Serie A? Do you think he'll be a success? Hard to say, isn't it? Uh, I think it's good for his own personal development, for sure. Um, it might suit the style of play being a bit more slow, um, perhaps not as much pressure to deliver, because I wouldn't think Roma are considered one of the big sides in Syria. I mean, I say big sides, but I mean in terms of Juventus, it's really Juventus, and then you look below that. Um I mean, only time will tell. It's, it's not, he's not a striker that you'd see come in like, say, a Giroud, where you know he's been there and done it at the highest level. Um, so you know the goals are just going to flow. I think for Tammy, it's going to take some time to adjust. But that's all down to personal preference. I mean, I believe Tammy will be a success eventually in the future. I think he will be a very mature striker going forward and that we will see him back in the Premier League one day. But for others like yourself, maybe that you think that this is a good option for him, but he might never reach the so-called heights of, of a number nine so-called at Chelsea that we we demand as fans. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, I think at this point in time, I'd have to say that is the case. But like in the future, you just never know. He could go on and develop and become a top striker. And as, as I said earlier, it's good that we have included that buyback clause, you know, just to cover ourselves as we have tripped up in the past the likes of Salah and, and De Bruyne. But Ultimately, it's sad to see him leave. He's come through the academy. He's been on a, he's been on a great journey. Won, won trophies at Chelsea. But ultimately, it, it just wasn't to be for him at the club. But yeah, guys, that's just myself and George's thoughts on Tammy Abraham's departure. Let us know in the comments below. Are you sad to see him go? Do you think Chelsea will regret selling him? And we will catch you in the next video.